3.5 practice problems. A 0.5 mole sample of helium and 0.5 mole sample of neon are placed separately in two 10 liter containers at 25 degrees Celsius each. Each container has a pinhole opening. Which of the gases, helium or neon, will escape faster through the pinhole and why? So between uh, helium and neon, their overall uh, kinetic energy is going to be the same since they have the same temperature for both containers. However, since helium is a smaller gas, it is going to be moving faster. So I will select A as my answer choice. Helium will escape faster because the helium atoms are moving at a higher average speed than the neon atoms. A rigid metal tank contains oxygen gas, which of the following applies to the gas in the tank when additional oxygen is added at a constant temperature. So constant temperature and it being oxygen and oxygen means that my overall uh, speed of the oxygen is going to stay the same. My pressure is going to increase since I have more moles of the oxygen and I am uh, being added to a rigid metal tank, which means that my volume is going to stay the same. So I'm going to look for something that uh, reflects that. Volume of the gas increases is not going to be true. My container is at a set volume. The pressure of the gas decreases, that is not true. Uh, I have more gas molecules, so my pressure increases. The average speed of the gas molecules remains the same. This is true, since we have the same temperature being uh, for all of the oxygen, so they're gonna remain the same speed. The total number of gas molecules remains the same. Uh, no, I'm adding oxygen. The average distance between the gas molecules increases. Uh, no, if anything, the average distance is going to decrease since I have more molecules in less uh, inside the same space. A sample of an ideal gas is cooled from 50 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius in a sealed container at a constant volume. Which of the following values for the gas will decrease? So I have decreased the temperature, which means that I have decreased the energy of the system. So I should be decreasing the speed of the molecules. The average molecular uh, mass is not going to change. Uh, the distance between the molecules is also not going to change. I'm not changing the uh, amount of gas that's present or the size of the container. And the average speed of the molecules are going to decrease since I have less, mole uh, less energy in my system. At standard temperature and pressure, 0.5 moles of a sample of hydrogen gas and a separate one mole sample of oxygen gas have the same. So we have the um, same temperature, which means we're going to have the overall same amount of kinetic energy within that sample. The speeds are going to differ because oxygen is going to be heavier than that of hydrogen. The overall, um, uh, like, Distance between the two molecules and stuff is going to depend on the size of that container. So my average molecular kinetic energy is going to be my answer choice. The diagram below shows the distribution of speeds for a sample of nitrogen gas at 25 degrees Celsius. Which of the following graphs shows the distribution of speeds for a sample of oxygen at 25 degrees Celsius utilizing a dashed line? So oxygen is going to be uh, heavier than nitrogen. So my overall speed is going to be less than that of nitrogen. So anything where I am shifted over to the right, where I am going faster, that does not make any sense. My, uh, my oxygen is going to be going slower at the same temperature as my nitrogen. So between these two is what I am looking at here. Um, here, I'm really uh, 
like not showing a whole heck of a lot. I don't know what my average speed is here. This isn't a great distribution curve. However, A, where I have less uh, speed for the majority of my molecules, this does make sense since oxygen is a larger molecule. Equal numbers of helium, argon, neon are placed in a glass vessel at room temperature. If the vessel has a pinhole sized leak, which of the following will be true regarding the relative values of the partial pressures of the gases remaining in the vessel after some time that the uh, gas mixture has effused? So I'm basically asking if we have initially the same amount of all of these um, elements, after some time has gone by, who is going to have escaped the most? Who's going to escape the fastest and therefore will have the least number of moles and therefore the least partial pressure? Helium is my smallest gas followed by neon and then argon, so it should go in that order. I should have the least amount of helium, which means that it would be contributing the least to my partial pressure, then neon, then argon. That answer choice is answer choice A. The following question refers to the one liter flasks shown below. In which flask do molecules have the greatest average speed? So speed is specifically uh, going to be uh, influenced by temperature. And then if I have a lot of that particular gas, then they are going to hit each other a lot more and so can, can't quite get um, as speedy. And my overall size of my molecules are going to be uh, an influence as well. So my two highest temperatures are between uh, this sample B and this sample of D. Uh, and I am dealing with a lower pressure here for nitrogen versus that of oxygen. So oxygen's gonna have a lot more collisions here. And then nitrogen is also a smaller molecule. So B is going to be my choice, both because nitrogen is a smaller molecule and also because of the higher pressure with oxygen, we're gonna have more collisions and overall uh, less uh, speed of my molecules are going to be able to be sustained. A one liter sample of helium at 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere is combined with a one liter sample of neon gas at 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. The temperature is kept constant. Which of the following statements about the combining gases are correct? So I am going, um, so I have two liters now. We're staying at the same uh, temperature in my um, overall pressure, if they are just combined, I'm not decreasing the volume, will will be the same. So I am going to say that uh, since the temperatures don't change, that the average kinetic energy of the helium atoms and neon atoms don't change when the gases are combined, since my temperature does not change. The graph, uh, the graph above shows the distribution of molecular speeds of four different gases at the same temperature. What property of the different gases can be correctly ranked using the information of the graph and why? Um, so with our general speeds, um, we are able to predict the masses of those gases. And so I am going to say answer choice D the molecular mass of the gas because the gas molecules have the same average kinetic energy and mass can be calculated using the equation kinetic energy is equal to one half math mass times velocity squared. The average kinetic uh, energy of the gas molecules is, I have uh, different uh, sizes of the actual molecules, different pressures, but the same temperature. So that means that the kinetic energy of the gases is going to be the same across those different, uh, different gases. An experimental apparatus represented above is used to demonstrate the rates at which gases diffuse. When the cotton balls are placed in the ends of the tube at the same time, the gases diffuse from the from each end and meet somewhere in between. 
where they react to form a white solid. Which of the following combinations will produce a solid closest to the center of the tube? So as a uh, reminder, we should be looking for something that has approximately the same mass because that means that our overall velocities will be the same. So we would be looking for uh, similar masses. So hydrogen and chlorine, we're going to, uh, hydrogen has a mass of approximately one, chlorine has a mass of approximately 35. So we have a mass of approximately 36 for the hydrogen chloride. And then hydrogen bromide, hydrogen has a mass of approximately one, and bromine has a mass of approximately uh, 80, so 81. Uh, carbon has a mass of approximately 12. There are five hydrogens, and then nitrogen has a mass of approximately 14. So uh, 19 plus five, I'm oh, sorry, 19 plus 12 would give me 31. Nitrogen with a mass of 14 plus three, so 17. Uh, we already found this mass and we already found this mass. So the closest masses are going to be option choice A, um, which would make the overall velocities of those uh, molecules be the same and therefore they would meet approximately in the middle. The volume of a sample of air in a cylinder with a movable piston is two liters at a pressure one as shown in the diagram below, a uh, diagram above. The volume is increased to five liters th as the temperature is held constant. The pressure of the air cylinder is now P2. What effect do pressure and uh, do volume and pressure changes have on the average kinetic energy of the molecule samples? Um, average kinetic energy of uh, those gas molecules are affected by temperature, not by pressure and volume, so I am going to say answer choice C. The average kinetic energy stays the same. The distribution speeds of hydrogen molecules at uh, 273 Kelvin in one atmosphere are shown in the diagram above. Which of the following best shows the distribution speeds of helium atoms under the same conditions of temperature and pressure? So uh, helium is a larger a molecule, which means that it should be moving slower. So we should look for a shift in our uh, graph to the left where we are decreasing the speed. So that is going to uh, eliminate B and D. Um, for option choice C here, we, we have uh, basically the same curve available, except for we uh, just also have uh, less molecules here that that isn't going to give us the answer choice. So we want, we want answer choice A where we have shifted our average speeds to the left since we have a larger molecule. The table below contains information about samples of four different gases at 273 Kelvin. The samples are in four identical rigid containers numbered one through four. Under the conditions given, consider containers one two and four only. The average speed of the gas particles is, so not the overall kinetic energy, but the general speed. So in one, two, and four exclusively, um, we are going to be looking for the smallest molecule that is going to be the one that is going the fastest between helium, neon, and sulfur dioxide. Um, helium is my smallest particle, so that is going to be the thing that is going the fastest. Two flexible containers for gas at the same temperature and pressure hold 0.5 grams of hydrogen and holds 0.8 grams of oxygen. Which of the following statements regarding these gas samples is false? So um, you need to remember that we are dealing with uh, general moles is going to be the volume that is going to be taken up um, by each of these things. So. Uh, 0.5 grams of hydrogen, diatomic hydrogen has a mass of two. And so 0.5 would be uh, 0 0.25 moles of hydrogen. And oxygen, diatomic oxygen is going to have a mass of um, 
uh, 32 approximately, eight grams is also going to be 0.25 uh, moles of oxygen. Okay, so even though we have approximately um, 0.25 in each, we do have slightly, ever so slightly more oxygens than we do hydrogens, and therefore the mole value of oxygen is going to be higher, therefore the volume of oxygen is going to be higher. So answer choice A is going to be false. Uh, we don't have the exact same volume. Um, we do have approximately the same number of moles, but um, if you actually did the real math and not just approximation math, uh, we are not going to have the exact number of, the exact same number of moles, and therefore we are going to have uh, different volumes of those gases. At 27 Celsius, a rigid two liter vessel is filled with nitrogen gas and sealed. The initial pressure of nitrogen gas is 720 millimeters of mercury. The vessel is heated to 120 Celsius and is allowed to reach a constant pressure. The gas molecules in the 27 degrees Celsius uh, at 27 degrees Celsius are represented in the diagram above. The lengths of the arrows represent the speed of the particles. Which of the following diagrams best represents uh, particles when the vessel is heated to 127 degrees Celsius? So we are very much increasing the uh, temperature, which means that we are increasing the overall energy, the kinetic energy of that uh, system. And we are going, uh, we are not changing the actual uh, components. We are just going with uh, 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 nitrogen. So uh, answer choice C is going to be eliminated because we have a breaking up of those nitrogen molecules. That does not make any sense. The overall uh, arrows should be increasing. So answer choice B is going to be eliminated as well. Uh, answer choice D, we have a uh, much larger amount of those nitrogen molecules in the sample, so that's going to be eliminated as well. Answer choice A is going to be my choice. We have a lengthening of those arrows indicating that I am going faster overall, and we are keeping with the same molecules throughout. The graph above shows the speed distributions of molecules in a sample of gas at a certain temperature. Which of the following graph shows the speed distribution of the same molecules at a lower temperature as a dashed curve? So um, lower temperature means overall my speed is going to be decreased because my overall kinetic energy is decreased. So I should see a shift to the left. So anything where I uh, do not shift to the left is going to be eliminated. And then um, I am keeping the same sample. So my number of molecules should be the same. D is my only valid option.